The space probe Voyager 1, which has been traversing space for more than 40 years, has made a significant announcement. During its trajectory beyond the solar system, it has achieved more than any of its initial goals, exceeding expectations as it was expected to last only five years. Voyager 1 has now detected the presence of 300 unknown objects passing through space. This discovery has completely changed our understanding, as these objects have been found to be plasmas from giant star explosions that occurred millions of years ago. Join us on this journey through the cosmos to find out what these objects discovered by Voyager 1 are all about. Unlike previous years, when all we could do was look at data within the solar system, as a result of the innovation that Voyager provided, we now have access to data beyond it. In August 2012, Voyager 1 officially crossed the boundaries of the solar system by passing through the heliopause. However, achieving this milestone was not easy. As the probe moved farther away from the sun, the amount of sunlight available to power its instruments and systems decreased significantly. The spacecraft's power is generated mostly from three different radioisotope thermoelectric generators which convert the heat produced by the natural breakdown of plutonium-238 into electricity. As the amount of heat from the thermoelectric generators has decreased over time, the power available has decreased, affecting the operation of several onboard systems, including scientific instruments, data communications, and transmission. To conserve energy, non-essential systems and instruments have been removed, disabled, or placed in a state of dormancy. It will be necessary to optimize or shut down Voyager 1's critical systems to prolong its operational life. In its current state, it will not operate for much longer, even in its present form. Despite this, we still greatly value it. However, the great distance between Voyager 1 and Earth presents a major obstacle to maintaining effective communication. As the spacecraft enters interstellar space, Voyager 1's signal strength has weakened. More than 21 hours are required for signals to travel from Voyager to Earth. The weak signal, combined with interference from background noise, makes it challenging to send and receive data. In addition, as Voyager 1 moves from the heliosphere, it experiences exposure to different kinds of temperatures. In the heliosphere, the spacecraft was closer to the sun and felt more elevated temperatures, whereas when entering interstellar space, it faces extremely low temperatures. The Voyager 1 probe is equipped with detectors for dust designed specifically to measure the deep interstellar dust density in space. However, interacting with Voyager 1 has become more difficult due to limited resources. NASA's global antenna system is expected to need to heed the signals from the mission, which has reduced the frequency of communication opportunities compared to the past. Despite this, a fascinating discovery recently emerged. In the midst of the data stream, Voyager 1 detected, astonishingly, the presence of 300 unknown objects passing through interstellar space. This finding has perplexed scientists around the world as it challenges our understanding of the cosmos. Are these objects remnants of drifting ancient celestial bodies, relics of distant star systems, or the existence of previously unknown phenomena? Although the information transmitted by Voyager can usually be easily deciphered when sent, in this case, the data were encrypted, which raises many questions but few answers. Strangest of all, However, is that despite the peculiar nature of the data, Voyager 1 appeared to be functioning smoothly. Its communication link with Earth remained intact, and the signal was still strong, allowing valuable information to reach NASA without much trouble. It's curious that none of the ship's protection systems were activated, indicating that there was no immediate threat. This excludes the possibility of an attack. So. What could be causing the telemetry data to appear scrambled or inaccurate? Could it be the result of interference from cosmic phenomena such as high-energy particles or radiation? Or is it possible that we are dealing with a completely unknown phenomenon that defies our understanding of space? The only way to obtain certainty was to conduct a thorough investigation of a wide range of possibilities. 
NASA's research team thoroughly analyzed the systems, taking into account the impact of cosmic radiation on the electronics and the possibility of temperature fluctuations affecting their sensitive instruments. There was a possibility that something was happening just before Voyager entered the heliosphere and that natural changes in its path would create problems in data transmission. However, the area where these unforeseen shifts occurred was not sufficiently concentrated to cause those problems, so that did not appear to be the response. The team also looked into the intricate nature of Voyager 1's communication systems, investigating possible distortions caused by cosmic noise or even something more subtle. Changes in its trajectory prompted an in-depth investigation into all of these possible factors. The spacecraft's systems were examined by considering the impact of cosmic radiation that damages electronic parts and the potential for temperature changes that affect its sensitive instruments. However, even though it might sound like a simple task of checking boxes on a list, in reality, a lot of work remains. As a result, the investigation did not begin immediately but dragged on for weeks. The group moved ahead with advanced data processing methods, innovative algorithms, and ran simulations of various scenarios to determine the underlying cause of the unusual anomalies. This was the only method for determining the cause of the difficulties. And all that effort was not in vain. After months of receiving and decrypting the spacecraft's data, engineers and scientists were finally able to restore clarity and reliability to the information that came from the far reaches of interstellar space. The cause of the problem was traced back to the expression of Voyager 1's Attitude and Control System, or AACS, specifically an onboard computer that was inactive. Surprisingly, it was discovered that the AACS had begun using the computer despite it not being operational for years, leading to corruption of the transmitted data. The remaining spacecraft, on the other hand, remained operational and continued to gather data. To discover the source of the problem, engineers acted quickly and sent a command to Voyager 1, instructing the AACS system to shift to the correct computer to send the data from the telemetry. Despite the low risk of the solution, it called for a lot of patience due to the significant delay caused by the distance that separates Earth from Voyager 1. The time it takes for radio signals to travel hours to get there and back meant the process of troubleshooting required careful coordination. Nevertheless, there was only one problem to consider. Voyager had been built decades ago and had been doing exceptionally well up until that point. As a result, resolving the current problems would be a major challenge. It was required for them to examine a number of manuals from the 1970s. That is exactly what they did. Following careful examination, they found a simple solution to the problem by restoring the system responsible for data transmission. In this way, they managed to fix the problem without affecting any other part of the ship. The experience and the engineering team's commitment played a crucial role in restoring clarity to Voyager 1's communications. Their efforts underscored the importance of making use of previous knowledge and integrating it with existing technology to meet the challenges of space exploration. Engineers suspect the omission in the application of the computer that isn't working on Voyager 1 was sparked by an incorrect command received from a different system on board. This hypothesis suggests an underlying problem in the intricate spacecraft's electronic network. Mission managers remain cautiously optimistic and emphasize that this incident does not pose a threat to the long-term well-being of Voyager 1. The spacecraft fixed the mistake and carried on with its mission right after the correct computers came back online. Thank you. I appreciate you watching the video. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. As Voyager 1 continues its traversal of the vast uncharted territories of interstellar space, its recent implications are profound. The detection of 300 unknown objects, likely plasmas from ancient stellar explosions, has sparked a rising tide of scientific inquiry and concerns regarding what else might be drifting in the still, gloomy distance of our system of stars. 
These plasmas, remnants of supernovae, provide a one-of-a-kind peek into the past of the universe. Scientists consider that by studying their composition and conduct, we can learn more about the distribution of the elements across the galaxy, the death of stars, and how the starting materials for new star systems are formed. It serves as a reminder that Voyager 1 isn't just a relic of the past. It's a tool that continues to reshape our understanding of the universe at this very moment. Despite this, Voyager 1 continues to be one of the most sophisticated pieces of engineering humanity has ever launched. Its instruments, despite their age in comparison to modern standards, continue to function through careful energy management and the unwavering dedication of mission control. Every new message it sends is a small miracle, a whisper from the border of the established, traveling billions of kilometers to get to us. Why is this so? The mission's enduring legacy is even more extraordinary. Aboard the well-known Golden Record, Voyager 1 carries a time capsule containing sounds and images from Earth that are meant to communicate the story of our world to any life on other planets that might one day find it. It includes greetings in 55 languages, music from Beethoven to Chuck Berry, and natural sounds from a baby crying to the ocean's roar. This symbolic action, devised by a team led by Carl Sagan, reminds us that Voyager 1 is more than just a machine. It's a messenger. It's a testament to human curiosity, creativity, and our desire to connect with the cosmos, even merely to state that we were looking. Mission scientists are preparing for the future, for the final conclusion of Voyager 1's journey. Its power source is slowly going away and is only expected to last a few more years. By 2030, most of its instruments will be shut down and the final signal may cease shortly after. Yet, even when Voyager 1 stops talking, it will continue to drift silently and steadily into the unknown. It will transform into a ghost ship of humanity, carrying our message across the heavens, possibly for millions of years, long after the planet itself has changed beyond recognition, long after our civilization's lights may fade. In the grand scope of space and time, Voyager 1 is nothing more than a speck on a vast shore. Nevertheless, it carries with it the hopes, dreams, and questions of an entire species. So, what lies ahead? Could future space missions go even further, utilizing more cutting-edge technology to follow in the steps of Voyager? Will we one day send crewed missions beyond the solar system? Or perhaps someone will eventually locate our little golden disk drifting through the dark? Voyager 1 continues to push, for the time being, the limit of what is possible. Also, as we hold on, we'll listen, we wonder, we dream.